Can you improve cash and liquidity management with the help of more effective currency management? The answer is yes, you can. Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Augustin McKinley. I'm the senior financial writer at Cantox and your host. In this week's episode, we're going to see that currency management and cash and liquidity management are in effect joined at the hip. Stay tuned for the rest of the session because we're going to review some surprising feedback effects from their interaction. There are at least five important but sometimes neglected touch points between FX risk management and cash and liquidity management. Let me first briefly set the stage and then we'll discuss these interactions. Number one is swapping. Adjusting the firm's hedging position to the cash settlement of the, of the underlying commercial exposure requires a lot of swapping. Number two, collateral. Um, in terms of shifting global interest rates, treasuries need solutions that allow them to optimize collateral management. Number three, working capital management. Uh, solutions to improve working capital and liquidity management are rarely mentioned in relation to foreign exchange management. Yet these relations exist. Number four, netting. Netting allows companies to achieve savings not only in terms of trading costs, but also in terms of the cash balances that are needed to, uh, for the purpose of collateral requirements. Finally, number five, cash flow um, forecasts. A recent survey by HSBC shows that more than half of treasurers worldwide see cash flow forecasting as the most important activity in Treasury. Take the case of a hedging program designed to protect the company's budget rate. It will require stop-loss orders to defend the budget rate that is used for pricing purposes or a worst-case scenario FX rate. It might also include profit-taking orders to lock in favorable moves in currency markets. Now, to the extent that those stop-loss orders are not hit, the execution of hedges is delayed. And with a delayed hedge execution, so the need to post uh, cash for collateral requirements is also delayed. Now, this will also give treasurers time to improve their cash flow forecasts. And it's not over yet. By hedging incoming firm orders, sales or purchase orders, or invoices, your program will be extremely effective. And that will give a purchasing managers the confidence to, uh, to buy in the currencies of their suppliers with FX risk under control. Suppliers, in turn, will be more inclined to grant extended paying terms. And with the traceability, the perfect end-to-end -end traceability that comes with automated programs, persons can confidently aggregate exposures without losing the benefits of data granularity. Aggregating exposures can facilitate netting opportunities and therefore achieving even more savings in terms of trading costs and in terms of the collateral requirements. Finally, swapping can be easily automated and voila! That's how effective currency management ends up improving liquidity management. Note that the process feeds on itself. And let me give you an example. Because automated swap execution allows treasurers to free up valuable resources, finance teams can take advantage of the benefits of using more currencies in the business. Therefore, automated swap execution improves not only the cash uh, related aspects of foreign exchange risk management, but also indirectly working capital management. And that's what I call a win-win situation. Finally, if you're looking to learn more about how you can improve your company's cash management through effective currency management, download our new report, Optimizing Cash and FX Risk Management through the link below.